Hey guys, and welcome back to more World of Guns Gun Disassembly. We're going to be doing the SMLE MK3, also known as the Short Magazine Lee Enfield. So, I'm sure you've all heard of Lee Enfield. If you've ever heard Smiley, that's the same gun. Just stands for Short Magazine Lee Enfield. So, this is actually another huge World War II gun. It was even used later on as the British did not really upgrade their arsenal um, significantly. So it was used in later campaigns as well. So this is a gun I actually do know <laughs> quite well. Because I own one actually. It's not the favorite weapon I own though because I own a <laughs> World War II era one very very similar to this one so practically actually exactly the same um so it's not very good useful for hunting or anything like that because well the sights aren't designed for that and how did you uh, you usually take a lot of shots at 300 well we use meters because i'm canadian but at least 300 yards often as far as 200 meters I wouldn't want to shoot too much more than 200 meters with the infield but so the sights aren't the best let's hop to disassembly as you saw the field strip is pretty easy for this gun as it's bolt action you just remove the bolt and you're kind of good to go Magazine is actually pretty easy as well. It's just a spring and a lever. Not like some of those fancier ones we've seen. Spring and a lever piece. So, bolt head. Extractor assembly. Cocking piece. Okay, there's pot assembly here. stock bolt there then the stock can come off once you've removed the stock bolt butt stock swivel assembly so now there's several screws along the bottom here one little nose cap another screw there has to move the swivels Okay, trigger guard can come off. Move the trigger assembly. As you see, it's a pretty simple gun. There's not a huge amount to it. So that's kind of the genius of it. It's a really um, good gun. Because it was quite easy to manufacture. Okay. So that part comes off, so we just have um, all wood. Like, a lot of wood was in the Lee Enfield, where a lot of other guns were a lot of metal. But made the Lee Enfield much more efficient because it was made with so much more wood as opposed to metal. However, I think they were starting to run out of a certain kind of wood by the end of the war, so some Lee Enfields are made with different types of wood than other, which kind of makes it interesting. And also, some are manufactured in India or I don't even know. Like they could they be would have been manufactured all over the place because the Commonwealth forces, which is Britain, would have had armies just spread out horribly. So they had a lot of factories. The one I made is actually marking is made in India. I think a lot of them probably were made in India though. So Okay, so we can take apart the sear. A couple safety assemblies here. The ejector's there. Perfect. See, not too much to the gun. Once you get into the Brock's taxes actually doing the 
receiver. There's a little bit more to it, but still not a huge amount. Not a hugely complicated gun. Safety assembly. Third magazine catch. Bolt head and spring assembly. Cutoff assembly. Okay, which should we put on first? I didn't think it was either of those. Went went on first. Oh, the slide, yeah. How's it go? Okay. Spring. I've never actually taken apart my sight, so not that. And then I was kind of talking while I was disassembling it, but there we go. I thought this inner band went on first, but then I thought I was wrong after. But yeah, it makes sense. Okay. The barrel screws back in. Put it back on the rear handguard. What am I missing for the receiver? Oh wait, I didn't put in the rear sight protector. No? What else? Oh, and the nose cap not. There we go. Plop it back in there. Oops. I didn't mean to click that. I wanted the trigger assembly. I can put in the trigger guard assembly. And then yeah, you can just go same as you did before. Front to back. Oop. Okay, I was just going from front to back. But no. Can't actually do that. It doesn't like it when you do that. Put the stock so assembly back. No, can't put the nose cap on yet. I actually probably shouldn't do it in that order. That's kind of a bad order. You should do it in exact reverse order. But that's what I always tell you anyway, so I should not take my own advice, I think. Should probably take my own advice, I think. But. Oh well, not the end of the world. No. Nope. Oh, no. What am I missing here? You do have to put that swivel on first. I thought you'd be able to put that swivel on after, but whatever. We attach that to the butt plate. Solo butt plate. Cocking piece. Okay, I'll put items back in the bolt head. Then you turn the bolt head. It's always kind of hard to know because so many things have a couple pieces and other ones have a whole bunch. And there we go. That is the assembly. Not as clean as our disassembly, but not the end of the world. Okay, so. It's a bolt action weapon, so you have to do the bolt every time. Yeah. And it loads when you pull back rather than when you push forward. Or can, ah, yeah, when you pull back rather than when you push forward. Which makes it kind of interesting for ejecting the shell, but then you can just pull her back and clock her back in forward when you push the shell back in. So, this is kind of the thinking. Makes it an interesting um, thing to shoot if you're not used to that though. Because a lot of them is when you're pushing forward. But yeah. And I think you can see that here if we go back to two. I'll show you how that works. There is a two. Okay, you can see as you pull back. No, I was wrong. It is pushed forward. Okay, the German one, it's pulled back then. Yeah, so it got my things mixed up. Okay, so the screw, it's thing, and as you push it forward, it squeezes the screw together. Sorry, I was mixing up the car, also known as the Mauser, with this weapon. Okay. And fire it. That's one complete. We can reload. We can unload. I thought we were, we did already fire it to empty. Did we not click the button when it was empty? Okay, good enough. Bayonet. As always, most um, weapons of this era had a bayonet attachment. You can put up the rear sight. 
And the safety is right there. So anyway guys, thanks for coming out for the Lee Enfield. And we'll be back in the next episode for more. Thanks guys. Later.